to the raw and wild hearts, a place where the raw, the unfiltered, the wild hearts gather to celebrate triumphs and hardships, learn from each other, grow together, and break down a culture rooted in fear. We will talk, we will laugh, and we will lean on each other about everyday life experiences that we could all use a little support through, and then we'll bask in the wild, magical beings that we are. My philosophy is that by embracing the dark, we may just let in the light. I am your host, Lori Rising, healer, educator, writer, adventurer, retreat leader, birth defender, and animal enthusiast and activist. Along with my wild heart sidekick, Kitty, Jesus the Brave, we'd like to invite you to get excited about the wild heart revolution. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's episode. It's called Sovereign Strong. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, you are. Ooh, happy astrological new year. Oh, we made it. It's big. The energies are profound. The power is real. So let's start with the basics. It is emotionally tumultuous out there. I'm calling it the emotional wild west because people be throwing out some lower vibes, some low frequencies, because they don't know how to integrate the power, the codes, the energy, the spiritual connection and divine source that is pouring onto the planet and into our souls. I mean, you could even be going through physical symptoms, which are ascension symptoms, because our little bodies are trying to integrate very, very powerful planetary movements. I mean, the magnetic field of the earth is shifting. The Schumann resonance, which is the earth's heartbeat, continues to go off for historical periods. The photonic light and solar flares just continue to pour onto the planet. While we are managing historical astrological shifts and changes and energies. So, yes, you're feeling it. I'm feeling it. We are all feeling it. And it is wildly important that we continue to drop into our sovereign strength, which is where we can choose the higher timeline and respond intentionally rather than habitually react. So the spring equinox, which we are in in the northern hemisphere, is when the sun passes along the equator. It's equal parts day and night. Y'all, this is the best example of unity consciousness. So again, when we went through the 22 portal, that was all about taking the contrast and the duality that is inherently a part of life and the human experience and transcending it into a place of full balance where we can be in unconditional love and a deep love frequency and out of the unhealthy ego that we have resurrected in these linear control fear-based narratives and experiences in this culture. So really, let's just drop in and enjoy this perfect balance. The peak portal was at 11.33 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I definitely spent time feeling my way into that portal. And it just had such beautiful energy that felt really soft and big at the same time. Okay, so before I get more into what's going down with the Aries season and with the astrological new year, I do want to touch on these emotional tsunamis that you may have hanging around your energy field. So with the Jupiter and Neptune in Pisces energies and with the Pisces season, the sun in Pisces that we just went through and the purging that we were actually doing, so taking all of the things that weren't working through our astrological year, the things that maybe aren't serving us in our highest good or that are creating more efforting in our lives than ease in our lives. We're really purging those in Pisces season while we're connecting to our divine soul, to source energy, to the spiritual realm. And with Jupiter and Neptune in Pisces moving towards a very powerful and historic conjunction on April 12th, 
we're feeling that kind of dreamy, boundless energy in ways that we honestly have probably never felt in our lives before. Now, if you are tuning in, tapping in, turning on, if you're doing your intentional practice work and integrating those energies into your physical existence and the reality that you're witnessing and experiencing around you, then you're going to have an easier time with the enormity and acceleration of those energies. But if you're not, and especially if you're tuning in to the matrix and the media and the fear narrative, quite honestly, then it can feel really confusing to have those dreamy, boundless, blissful energies while you're witnessing an entirely different reality that feels very scary, horrific, painful, upsetting. Okay, so... If that's happening, then when you go through an experience in your life, you might be unleashing that kind of chaos that you're going through with your communities, with your loved ones, in your world, in your experiences, at your jobs, whatever it is, whatever connection you're making, you could be coming from a very imbalanced and unstable reaction. Now, If you're on the receiving end of this, this is where we get radically intentional. Yes, I just came up with that phrase for our astrological new year, because whatever we do create now are the themes for the next 12 months. And these energies really are giving us so much forward momentum to be very clear in what we do want to create in our lives and what we want to manifest and magnetize and build, quite honestly. So this is where your sovereign strength comes in. This is where your hardcore alignment practice comes in. This is where all of those gut wrenching, courageous hours you have spent in getting present and coming from a place of internal power, inherent wisdom, and internal gratification. When you do that, you can choose the higher timeline. It may feel uncomfortable in the moment. You may feel those defenses come up, that warrior sense of where you need to be right. The other person or party has to understand your side. Now, this is the unhealthy ego, and this is looking for gratification externally. Yes, and this can be a whole new concept and lifestyle that we live when we're coming from a multidimensional state of being. And that is when we get to live in joy and ease, no matter what kind of chaos is happening around us, no matter what kind of energy is coming into our field from our experiences, communities, jobs, connections, whatever it is, we actually get to recenter ourselves and pull from a well that has been excavated in deep growth, in deep alignment, and deep integration of this soul ascension with the physical body. Now there's a lot of work to do (laughs) and there are a lot of energies coming in to support us and I do not want you to miss that because These Pisces energies are the kind of profound, exquisite places that creation energy is sourced from, literally that worlds are made from. This is our majesty. This is how we come together from a place of full empowerment, inherent joy, innate health, collective love, and intuitive connection. So hear me when I say that you are not available for the lower timelines. You are not available from the habitual reaction of unhealthy ego. You are available to continue your deep journey in growth, in transformation, and in immediate intentional practices that keep you in the strongest center that you have ever been, no matter 
the chaos that ensues around you. And believe me, we are fluctuating with these energies all the time. For example, for the next year, we have Eris in Aries squaring Pluto and Capricorn. And right now with the spring equinox, it's in a T-square to the moon in Libra. And that's the emotional intensity that comes into the warrior, divine, feminine, equality, and justice archetype of Eris. And the Pluto in Capricorn, which is the top-down governmental systems, the rules, the structures, the regulations, but it's also the um, revelations of corruption with the Pluto energy. So we've got all of this going on. So yeah, you might have that initial kind of knee-jerk reaction that has been so unconsciously ingrained in us for so long. And you also have the alignment that you have been cultivating and excavating out of all of the karmic resolution, the wounding work, the trauma transformation that you have been committed to. So it's like I like to say in my embodiment classes in my membership circle, do you know how I get back into balance? I just do it again. We got raised in this culture of competition and scarcity and judgment where so often when we would try something new, if we didn't do it right and perfect immediately, we either gave up or beat ourselves up continually. That is not the new earth way. That is not the rebirth that we are now in. So you are not available for anyone else's lower frequency loops or timelines. You are available for healthy dialogue, for a love frequency connection, and for the transcendence of each other's ego so that you can come together in honoring each of our unique journeys that unfold as they are meant to. It is your job to continually get back into alignment and clarity Just like every time we practice balance and we fall out, we get back in. And the more we do it, the more balance we have and the less we fall out. And something else that I think is really nice to remember and hold space for right now on a personal level as well as on a community level and then push it further into the global level is that we cannot rebuild or build new without chaos and the destruction and the breaking down of something. So you could look at this in your relationships. We can look at this in our governments. We can look at this in our medical system. You can look at this in your work life, like whatever the experience is, allow it to break down and then give it the space to rebuild in the way that it's meant to. And if it's not meant to be rebuilt, then allow yourself and anyone else involved the space to evolve and grow because baby you got a lot coming down the pipe right now and we absolutely want to be available to co-create these exquisite and profound transformative paths that are being laid out in front of us now so let's chat a little bit about the astrological new year as we move into Aries season now Aries is the pioneer it's all about gut instincts passion, being fearless, being the warrior. The shadow side, though, you do want to watch. It can be hasty. It can be rash. It can be self-consumed. So always check in with what kind of energy is coming up during a certain season or a certain transit even, especially how it is moving through your natal chart. And in the astrological new year, what we're doing is we are actually rebirthing now. So with Pisces, it was really the death or the end. And what I kept saying is after the purge comes the surge. So whatever you've been purging, even maybe in those energies that have been floating around you or those emotional tornadoes that have been whipping you around, that can be part of the purge. So check in with yourself, really give yourself that time and space and that presence within your sensory system, the inherent navigation system that we came into these bodies with. Listen to the messages that are coming through deeply, especially in your dreams. And in your dreams, it's not 
the unfolding story that you see, that's based on our past experiences and what we know in these human journeys. But you want to connect with what's the emotional charge. What's the emotional flow that's trying to come through or the emotional manifestation. Okay. So what I got last night and I wanted to share for the astrological new year is in my dreams, it was all about coming back to simplicity. And in that simplicity, I feel like that's the energy of really truly understanding that we came into these lives with everything that we needed. And we've been disempowered over many different systems and structures and rules and regulations and societal constructs and all the things, right? So knowing that you are your best source of medicine, of health, of wellness, and of joy, you are the gratification that you seek externally. It's all inside. It kind of takes us back to knowing that the things that are the very best for us that keep us in our highest frequency, in our health, and in our wellness, do not come from money. They do not come externally. They come from the care that we show ourselves, the love that we hold for this exquisite body, these wild journeys, and the unfolding, fluctuating paths and experiences that we get to be here for. The other message was to be in our creation energy and to play, to actually do something for the joy of doing it instead of doing something because we have to produce because our worth is based on our production value. So when we actually engage in experiences for the pure joy of them, we raise our frequency and our light and then what we produce comes with so much more ease. It's like, (laughs) I tried to tell my childbirth parents this a lot. The more that we actually drop into surrender and flow and love and joy, the easier things become. Because the more we try to control something, the more we have to effort in the rest of our lives. It's like control is the damper to the flame of our lives. And then the last message that came through my dream last night was all about core community, like really being there for your core community, because they may be going through huge emotional upheavals and fluctuations as well. So check in with them and then receiving the love from them. The more that we give and receive effortlessly and easily, the more flow and fluidity we invite into our lives. And then just the higher the frequency and energy that we get to emanate out in the world, which takes me to my next theme of this astrological new year. We are in the biggest diverging timelines and cellular upgrade that we have ever experienced as a human population. And there's a reason for it. They're becoming very distinct and they're becoming very accelerated because we are creating and emanating such a strong and powerful light frequency at this point because of those of us that are doing the intense transformative and evolutionary work on a soul level while we integrate it into the physical existence that is what illuminates the dark the corruption the lies the greed the hate the anger I mean We also have our south node in Scorpio right now, and that's all about bringing up the underbelly and the underworld of what's been going on for so long. So honestly, the oncoming nodal eclipse axis is giving us even more support to move into this rebuilding of a new earth love frequency from benevolence, from abundance, from ease, and from joy. So um, yeah, the because of the work that we're doing on an individual basis and because we are light bodies that communicate through telepathy, through our sensory navigation system, through energy, we are emanating it into the frequency. This is the butterfly effect. It's the ripple effect. Every single time you drop into a practice, you change the world. You change the collective frequency. You continue to accelerate these diverging timelines. And then it becomes 
easier to feel them, to navigate them, and to choose from them. So friends, keep it up. We are doing it. Even when you see the chaos get bigger, that's the sign that we are creating so much light on this planet that the dark is grasping at as much power and greed and control as they can. But it is burning down. We are moving into the full destruction and we have to go through the chaos in order to rebuild. But know this, as you stand in your sovereign strength, as you find your internal empowerment, your inherent medicine, you are changing worlds. You are rebuilding as the chaos is destroying. So the last thing that I do want to touch on and talk about is this Jupiter and Neptune conjunction in Pisces on April 12th, because I want you to be available for the possibilities and the energies that you can bring into the physical world. You can integrate them into your multidimensional experience here. This is part of what I teach. I teach people how to get into their body consciousness, how to turn off channel three or the thinking and the linear mind, the control mind that we're supposed to use such a small percentage of our lives and we're using it pretty much almost our entire lives. So I want to help you get into your parasympathetic nervous system, your rest and regenerate state, help you choose to intentionally care for a strong pineal gland and guide you into listening to the co-creation messages that you are constantly being sent from your higher consciousness, from your guides, your ancestors, your astral support system and team, so that you can move forward in a place of alignment and joy and ease. So there's going to be psychic connection available, lots of dream messages, telepathy, ascension, clarity, intuition, such a high frequency energy that I want you to make it your job to tap in. <laughs> make it your mission to find the people that help you move into the very, very deep present moment within your body to turn off that thinking mind, that monkey mind, the fear of the past or the expectation of the future and get radically present so that you can integrate these energies and move forward in this human journey, creating miracles every step of the way. We were meant to come in and produce miracles and live really well. <laughs> so let's get to it. Am I right? So also with this energy, though, I want you to be careful of the shadow side, the shadow energy, which can be feeling delusional or disconnected from reality or deep states of confusion. And that can be where you're feeling some of these emotional tornadoes from people, because if they're not managing these energies and integrating them into the physical world, like I said before, then they're going to be spewing out the chaos that they're feeling internally. So I want to leave you with this. It's a little journal for right now, especially as we move in and plant beautiful seeds of creation with clarity and with radical intention and aligned accountability. When you're choosing a timeline in any interaction, in any energy or experience or connection or relationship, I want you to immediately take yourself into a place, give yourself a few minutes and take yourself into a place where you ask, how is this in my best and highest good? How can I reach higher? How can I grow from this? Am I responding beyond the ego or from the ego? And where do I place my attention and focus? What do I make bigger in my life? So we are still all planets direct and Jupiter will be going into Aries after it's in Pisces here, which will take all of this spiritual, boundless, blissful energy that we are drawing down from the heavens and from our divine selves. And then we'll get to move forward with it and expand it into a passionate reality. So just remember that being sovereign strong means that you are creating your experience from radical intentionality, aligned accountability, 
beautiful boundaries of what you're available for and what you're not available for. Because when you come from a place of deep self-love, of inherent self-worth, of internal gratification, of soul and self-care, then you get to show up in your communities from a pillar of strength, of centeredness, of balance, and of a love frequency that will elevate every single energy around you. And if you would like to go further with me, I have so many offerings to share with you. It is my soul's mission and purpose to be your biggest cheerleader in your divinity, your majesty, your birthright of greatness. I am here to help you shine your light brighter so others can shine theirs as well. Jump on my website at therawandwildhearts.com. You'll find everything there. Come on over to my Instagram. I definitely try to inspire. I share channeled messages and guidance quite often. That's at The Raw and Wild Hearts. Of course, all of my info is in the show notes below. Check out my digital courses and my meditations. They are absolutely life-changing. And definitely get on my free co-create with the universe workshop. There's a beautiful 12 to 13 minute meditation at the end. You can come back and listen to it as often as possible. Y'all, our intentional practices and response are literally our medicine. They're our conduit to living well, in joy and ease in these human lives while the chaos goes down around us. Let's do it. Let's do this together. Let's continue to raise this light frequency and illuminate the dark so that we can dismantle, destroy, and rebuild from a place of light, balance, and benevolence. Y'all, this is what we came here to do. And I cannot wait to keep kicking the old paradigms out while we kick ass in this rebuild of the new earth way. And I really want to honor the fact that we are experiencing a lot, we are feeling a lot, and we are managing a lot right now. These are big historical shifts in the planet, in the universe, in all of energy. So I want to share a beautiful sound healing meditation with you right now. Really allow yourself to feel the healing vibrations through your entire body, mind, spirit, soul. Allow it to create deep healing and transformation for you. And just have a curiosity about how you will move forward in your experience from these moments on. Find a nice, comfortable spot. And just allow yourself to fully relax in these moments. Be profoundly present in your body, in your energy, in this experience. And take a nice, deep, nourishing breath in. And as you exhale, soften down, letting go of all stress, tension, or anxiety. And breathe in again, feeling gratitude for this privilege and this time and space to be fully inhabited. to be fully available for your innate health and vibrancy in this life. Feel the ground beneath you. Feel the air on your skin. Let 
Notice any sensations moving through your body as you drop down into a beautiful, comfortable state of relaxation. Notice the healing vibrations as they move through every cell in your body. Enjoy this feeling of comfort and ease. And continuing with your eyes closed, go ahead and bring your gaze inward and upward in between your eyebrows directed towards your spiritual third eye, your divine vision, the inherent messages, and the connection to ancient wisdom. And just hold your gaze easily while you activate the power of your divine sight. Good, and now go ahead and release that gaze. Feeling the healing vibrations moving into your heart space and center. And as they flow through you, they begin to expand out through the rest of your body, bringing a warmth and a light with them. And now take your attention to the soles of your feet. Feel the tingling of beautiful crystalline energy exchanging in the soles of your feet, coming in, flowing out. With that energy comes a warmth and a healing vibration of light. And now begin to notice this same energy exchange in the palms of your hands. You continue to notice a quality of lightness and ease with this movement and this flow. Now begin to move up into your third eye. And notice a big, beautiful, warm light radiating out from your third eye as the energy flows in and flows out. the depth, power, and activation of your third eye continues to grow stronger. As you nurture and nourish your divine sight. As you breathe in and breathe out. And 
and you continue to feel the vibrations flow into you and through you, raising your frequency in every moment. And now bring your attention and depth and feeling into your crown chakra. As you feel that light pour in and flow out with a beautiful energy exchange, allowing whatever is no longer serving you to leave your being and your field and bringing in all of the energy that is in your best and highest good. Returning all of your power into your vessel and your soul, filling your spirit up in strength and sovereignty. And now feel all of that grounded, nourished, centered, and crystalline energy and light moving up through your crown chakra, up, 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 quickly, quantumly into the heavens, moving up easily, connecting with your highest self, the version of you who is always sending you messages and co-creating with you for your exquisite and perfect unfolding path all in divine time and you connect easily now as you now feel your light spilling out and over back down into the earth as it moves into a beautiful cyclical spiral of light continually integrating your divine infinite self and soul with this human vessel and physical reality and experience all around you. And just allowing that light to continue shining brighter and brighter. Bring yourself back to the healing vibrations of sound. Enjoying this moment fully. Feel the expansion of that light vibration moving through your soul, your body, your spirit. Noticing how good it feels to be in this flow. As you breathe in, and breathe out. And bringing yourself fully into this body, preparing to move on in your day continuing to integrate this entire experience and move forward in new states of multidimensionality, higher consciousness, vibrancy, and ease.
And with that, let's normalize the struggles, celebrate the quirks, and lean into the light. From myself and Beezus the Brave, Happy Wild Heart Revolution, friends.